Have you ever wished you could put a wonderful dessert together in just five minutes? Well, I've got something that takes five minutes, five ingredients, and the end results are exquisite. It's so delicious. And it involves vitamin C. You know that vitamin otherwise known as chocolate? Yes. So I have my five ingredients all set out. One thing that I did ahead of time is chopped up six ounces of dark chocolate. You can use semi-sweet, bittersweet. Chop it up really fine, put it into a nice heavy saucepan and put it on the stove over a real low heat and stir constantly until it's completely melted. And I did that ahead of time. It doesn't really take long at all. And I've got that waiting to put into my blender, but first I'm going to put in a whole can of coconut milk. And this is the full fat variety. It's not the light variety, and that's important because you wanna have that creaminess. And once you've got the coconut milk in, then you can add your melted chocolate. So remember, six ounces of dark chocolate that's been melted, and just put that right into the blender with the coconut milk. And then I have another ingredient that starts with C, and that is chia seeds. And chia seeds are these tiny little seeds that almost look like poppy seeds, but they really pack a punch of energy. They're full of antioxidants and some protein and fiber. They're easy to digest, but they also act as a thickening agent. So they have a double purpose in this chocolate mousse. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of chia seeds into the blender, and then I'm just gonna whirl it up until it's nice and well blended. You'll notice as this mixture blends, it really starts to thicken up. Those chia seeds really act fast. And then right at the end, I'll put in half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give it one more blend, and that's all there is to it. Now this is a really rich, satisfying dessert. So all you need is a little bit. So I like to serve it in just like tiny little cups. Even espresso cups work really well. And just pour a little serving into each little bowl. And after that, all you need to do is chill it in the refrigerator for an hour or two. And when you serve it, it's kind of nice to put a few little fresh raspberries over the top, or maybe a little dollop of whipped cream or a little dollop of yogurt but it's a really quick and easy dessert, and it is exquisite. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for Good Life 365.